take a minute to talk about discharge piping on uh, pumps, right? Centrifugal midship mounted fire pumps. So part of uh, pump operator training should be a component where you learn to identify parts. So this is a Hale Q-Max pump. This is the top of it. And this is a discharge valve coming out. So we should be able to look at the components of that and figure out what that what those components are. So right here is the valve control handle, which actually has linkage. And it goes back to the pump handle on the other side. So that's a T-handle on the pump handle, right? T-handle twist. It's a quarter turn locking ball valve. Basically, this doesn't lock, but the T-handle locks over there. Water flow goes this way. How do we know that? Well, this is the top of the discharge manifold of the pump. This is the control valve. This is the gauge line, right? So that gauge goes back to the pump panel. That would be the individual line gauge. Note where the gauge is located. It's on the outboard side of the valve, right? So that is your line pressure. It's not the pump pressure. The pump, the pressure in that line as you have the valve open. And then on the back side of this are drains. So that's your drain, and that's for the other valve, but there's one right here that goes to this valve. So pretty commonly, right, on any of these control valves, you're going to have a gauge line for a discharge on a discharge control valve. You're going to have a gauge line, you're going to have a drain, you're going to have a valve. You should be able to identify those. This is a manual valve. It would be true for an electric valve or an air-operated valve as well. And this piping goes up and it feeds the crosslay, the large two and a half inch pre-connected crosslay on this engine. So there are plenty of other things inside this pump house, but for uh, pump operator training, the pump operator should be able to look in the pump house and be able to identify all the components, where do the gauge lines go, where the control handles go, and what kind of valves does the pump have on it.